In this video, we will find out how neural networks learn. There are two fundamentally different approaches to getting a program to perform what you want it to do. One is hard coding all the rules where you tell the program what specific rules and outcomes you want, guide it through the whole way and come up with all the possible options the program has to deal with. Another option is we have a neural network where we create a facility for the program to be able to understand what it is needed for. You may create this neural network where you provide inputs, tell the neural network what you want it as output, and then let it figure out everything on its own. These are two fundamentally different approaches, which is something to keep in mind as we go through this tutorial. Our goal is to create a neural network that learns on its own. We are going only to put in some of the rules, and a good example could be how do you distinguish between a dog and a cat. On traditional hard coding, we have to set the rule for what a cat is and then select all these conditions to check if this is a cat or a dog. For example, if the ears are pointy, then it is a cat, and if it is sloping down, then it is a dog. On the other hand, we code the architecture for neural network, then point the neural network at a folder full of the image of these cats and dogs, and they are already categorized. You will inform the neural network that we got some pictures of a cat and dog. Go and learn what a cat is and what a dog is. Then the neural network will on its own understand everything it needs to understand. Next, when it is done, it will be able to figure out the future image if it is a dog or a cat. These are the two fundamentally different approaches, and in this part, we will slowly start getting into how that second approach works. So, without any further delay, let us get started. Alright, let us get started. Here we have a very basic neural network with one layer called a single layer or single perception. One thing we need to change is to replace y with y hat, since y usually represents the actual value and y hat is the predicted value by the algorithm of the neural network. The perception was first invented in uh, 1957 by Frank Rosenblatt, whose uh, whole idea was to create something that can actually learn and adjust itself, and this is what we are going to look at now. So let us say we have some input value that have been supplied to this neural network, and then uh, the activation function is applied, and now we are going to plot the output in a chart. So there it is, our output y hat. So, what we need to do in order to learn, we need to compare the output value to the actual value that we want the neural network to get. We can, uh, we can see from this figure that there is a difference. And now we are going to calculate the cost function. The cost function is equal to y hat minus y squared divided by 2. There are many ways to get the cost function, but this is the most commonly used way. And the cost function tells us what the error we have in our prediction is. And our goal is to minimize the cost function because the lower the cost function, the closer y hat to y, which means the closer the output to the actual value. Once we compare the values, we need to feed the we need to feed uh, this information back into the neural network, which is called back propagation, which we'll talk about in the next video. And it goes back to our neuron and the weights gets updated. Basically, the only thing we have uh, control of in this very simple neural network are the weights. And our goal is to minimize uh, our cost function. So, all we can do is update the weight. And to make things very clear, let us look at some data in a simple data set with one row. 
In this sample data set, we have the following independent variable. We have how many hours do you study? How many hours do you sleep? And how, uh, how much you got on the quiz in the mid semester? And the dependent variable, which is a predicted uh, output, is what the result you will get on the exam. The 93 is the actual value Y. We will feed these input values into our neural network and get the output, which is the summation of the multiplication of the input value by the weight. After that, we will compare y hat to y, and then we will calculate the cost function. After the weight got adjusted, we are going to feed the same values again, and we are going to compare the output to the actual value, and then the cost function gets adjusted uh, again. And then we change the weight again and calculate the output value. We keep adjusting the weight till we get the output value y hat equal to the actual value y and the cost function is zero. Usually we won't get the cost function equal to zero, but this is a very simple example. So every time we feed that exactly same row into our neural network, we apply the weight, the activation function is applied and we get the output value. Then the output value is compared to the actual value and we see how the cost function is changing. Then feed that information back to our neural network and then adjust the weight. And then we repeat the same process with the same exact row. Up till now we are dealing with one row. So let us see what happens when dealing with multiple rows. Here is a data set uh, where we have eight rows or eight observations. An epoch is when we go through all the reading in our dataset at once and we feed our neural network on this value in one cycle for training the machine learning model. We will use all of the data exactly once. So every time we feed a row into our neural network, we are getting an output and then we compare to the actual value. These are the actual values in blue color and the output values are on orange color. And now based on all these differences between the output value and the actual value, we can calculate the cost function as follows. Okay, which is again, the cost function is equal to y hat, which is output value minus the actual value y squared divided by two, the summation of it. And now we go back and update the weights and the critical thing to remember here is that the weight will be the same for all the rows. This means that uh, all the rows share the exact weight. And that's why we took the cost function. And this was one uh, iteration. Next, we are going to run this whole operation. Feed every single row into our neural network. Find out our cost function and repeat this entire process again. The goal here is to minimize the cost function. And as soon as we get the minimum cost function, this means that the weights are adjusted and we found the optimal value for the weight for this neural network. And this whole process is called back propagation. So this is how a neural network is trained. And by this, we reach to the end of this tutorial. As you can see, the whole process uh, depends on finding the predicted value, compare it to the actual value, and then calculate the cost function. After calculating the cost function, we feed this information back into our neural network and we adjust the weight. After that, after we adjust the weight, we have to run this whole process again, calculate the predicted value, compare it to the actual value, and calculate the cost function. We keep uh, doing this process until we get the minimum cost uh, function. Okay, and when we find the minimum cost function, this means that we found the optimal value for the weight. All right, guys. So this is it for this tutorial. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the uh, gradient descent and back propagation in details. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.